What's up everyone and welcome back to Nexus. For nearly as long as films have been created, they've been censored and banned for reasons like politics, violence, sex, and even downright blasphemy. Here's a peek at the top 10 films that were banned around the world. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get new content similar to this every day. And for this video, let's see if we can hit the golden like button, which is a thousand likes, so make sure to drop a like down below. Number 10. The Simpsons Movie What would you say if you were told that The Simpsons Movie is banned in Burma? Your first thought may be because of a nude scene that features Bart. That is not the case. The Simpsons Movie is banned because of two colors. The film was released years ago and it was hit with many viewers around the world. From iconic catchphrases like Spider Pig to the premise of the film, it was iconic. Compared to other animated films, it was also relatively tame, especially when paired up with South Park. Still, the movie didn't make it to Burma. The Burmese government is known for being superstitious. They had a law that all currency must be divisible by nine. Yes, that's real. What's more absurd is that the film was banned because of the colors red and yellow, both colors that are associated with rebel groups in Burma. Number 9. A Clockwork Orange While Americans could see it, the British could not for nearly 30 years. Stanley Kubrick's hit film wasn't banned for the reasons that one might think. Stanley Kubrick banned it himself. Shortly after its release, copycat murders started to occur. As time passed, a young woman was molested by a group of people chanting singing in the rain, just like in the movie. So Stanley was fed up and withheld the movie from British fans for a couple decades. This reminds me of the copycat suicides from 13 Reasons Why. And if you guys enjoy this list, we will be sure to make an iteration for TV shows. Number 8. The Wolf of Wall Street Ah, The Wolf of Wall Street. Not a film I expected to be on this list, but nonetheless, I'm not too surprised. When the film opened in theaters, several countries were unsure as how to handle the film's controversial narratives. Scorsese's work raised many eyebrows across the globe because of its depictions of nudity, drugs, and sex. The Hollywood Reporter stated that the movie was completely banned in Malaysia, Nepal, and India, and the UAE censored many portions that were seen as offensive. One of the more notable banned scenes was the orgy scene where Jonah Hill touches himself in public. Do you think that people are missing out because of that scene? Let us know down below in the comments. Honestly, we thought it was integral to the movie. Number 7. Texas Chainsaw Massacre while a 2010 poll by UK movie magazine Total Film cited the Texas Chainsaw Massacre as the best horror film of all time, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was banned in the United Kingdom for many years. Directed by Toby Hooper, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was rejected by the BBFC for its graphic violence and disturbing scenery. The film was banned in Britain until 1988. Although it's now common to see grotesque imagery featuring power tools as kill weapons, at the time, Texas Chainsaw Massacre was an innovator and is now remembered as one of the greats for the shocking imagery that led to many frights. Number 6. Zoolander One of the funnier entries on this list, the film Zoolander was banned in Singapore for featuring a plot to kill Malaysia's Prime Minister. According to Singapore's Board of Film Censors, the film was banned for controversial features. Of course, Malaysia also banned the film. Zoolander's plot revolves a male model with self-esteem issues named Derek Zoolander, who is manipulated into assassinating the Malaysian Prime Minister for trying to blackmail the fashion industry into raising the minimum wage. <laughs> Clearly, the satire didn't go both ways here, and Malaysia's relations with the cast of Zoolander ended up pretty sour. Number 5. Sallow or the 120 Days of Sodom If there is any irony extracted from the creation of the film, it's that the original creator of 120 Days of Sodom never saw the movie released in theaters. It was suppressed worldwide for 30 years. The creator, Pier Paolo Pasolini, was assassinated before the film was available to the public. The facts are cloudy as to why it happened, but several rumors involving extortion were involved. Did he die because he created the shocking film? Impossible to say. However, the film created that much controversy that it could very well be the case. 120 Days of Sodom is a movie that focuses on a group of rich fascists in Mussolini's Italy. The fascists kidnap a group of teenage girls and boys and force the teenagers to go through emotional, sexual, and physical torture throughout. The movie is iconic for its exploration of sadism. Number 4. The Human Centipede if you've heard about it, it's probably not for great reasons, and if you've watched it, you may not exactly be proud. However, The Human Centipede certainly raised eyebrows with its release. To make it as brief as possible, the film is about a scientist who kidnaps innocent people and stitches their faces to the rear ends of others. Yep, no exaggeration there. 
It was banned in the United Kingdom, and the board responsible for deciding if films in the UK should be banned said, The Human Centipede sequel is just too horrible to show. Number 3. E.T. Arguably the funniest justification for a film being banned was from Scandinavia, when it banned kids from watching E.T. due to the fact that it made adults look like jerks. If you grew up in the 1980s, E.T. probably impacted your childhood quite a bit. It could have been due to the feel-good story or the freakish monstrosity that was E.T.'s appearance. Except none of this would have been the case if you were born in Finland, Norway, or Sweden, where everybody who was under 12 years old wasn't allowed to see the movie. This had nothing to do with this creepy aesthetic that E.T. had, it was in fact because government officials in those Scandinavian countries found the film harmful to the minds of young children, on the basis that it portrayed adults as cruel people who were enemies of children. Number 2. The Exorcist The Exorcist is about Reagan, a young child who was possessed by a powerful demon who made her act insane. The film was controversial at the time of release. However, it was certainly a trailblazer for horror films for generations to come. The Exorcist was cited by many critics as one of the most horrifying movies of all times. A factor of this is it's based on a true story aspect. While horror fans loved it and praised its innovation, it certainly came at a cost as the film wasn't as beloved by everyone. Certain reasons for this included the religious depictions of the film and the grotesque events that occurred throughout. While the movie initially released in theaters in the UK, it was banned in many cities and did not receive legal classification until the 90s. The film was so horrifying that there are countless stories of ambulance calls because a moviegoer had fainted or went into shock because of its fear factor, making it one of the most iconic horror films of all time. Number 1. The Interview Probably the most infamous movie on this list, The Interview caused headlines for several reasons. The interview features James Franco and Seth Rogen on their adventure in North Korea. The plot of the film revolves around two protagonists being hired by CIA officials to kill Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of North Korea. As predicted, North Korean officials thought the movie promoted hatred and violence against North Korea. Therefore, the movie was banned from theaters. When the film was available on the internet, the North Korean government censored large portions because of the anger it caused North Korean officials. The movie came out in 2014, but was censored on the internet for several months. Many movie theaters nearly cancelled screenings of the movie altogether because of several threats that came from North Korean government. Man, it sounds ridiculous now, but at the time, people were scared of North Korea starting a war with the US over the screening of a movie. Incredible. That was our list of the top 10 banned movies around the world. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and drop a like down below. Help us get a thousand likes. Other than that guys, thanks for watching. Peace!